python iterations using for so the for loop syntax in python the for loop in python is used to iterate over a sequence a sequence may be a list may be a tuple may be a string or any other iterable objects so iterating over a sequence is also known as a traversal that means for each and every looping it will pick up one element from the iterator and that element can be processed so here is the respective syntax for for so for val in sequence don't forget to give this colon here and if you give this colon then automatically the next line will have some indent here so body of for you can have the multiple statements you can write but with the same indentation in that case so here is a flowchart so for each item in sequence last item list if it is no then body of for will get executed on that item which has been picked up if the last item has been reached then it will exit loop so in this way the respective flowchart will be working on this for loop syntax in python we can also do this one using the range function so we can generate a sequence of numbers using range function so for loop can be operating on a certain say sequence there is a iterable objects are also using this range function so range 10 will generate numbers from 0 to 9 so that is the 10 numbers we are having here so always remember here this 10 will not be inclusive so 0 to 9 that is the 10 numbers we are having so we can also define the start stop and step size as range there is a start comma stop comma step size so step, step size defaults is 1 if it is not provided uh, let us suppose if we write this one as range 1 comma 10 comma 1 that means it will it will have the values ranging from 1 to 9 and with the increment of 1 in that case for loop with the else section so for for loop can also have an optional else block the else part is executed when the items in the sequence used in for loop exhausts so when the when the when the sequence will get exhausted then the else part will get over the control so break statement can be used to stop a for loop in such case the else part will be ignored on the other hand so hence a for loops else part runs if no break occurs so if there is a break then the else part will not be executed otherwise the else part will be executed when the else part will be executed when the sequence will get exhausted so let us go for some practical demonstration to show you that how this for can be used in our python code let us find that how for loop can work in python so here we have defined one list we know that list elements are to be separated by commas and they are to be enclosed within these third brackets so this is a list here so printing all elements present in a set and here this particular set is nothing but a list so for i in a print i that means in each and every iteration in each and every loop in this particular for using this for we are picking up one element from the list at a time and the respective element is going to get printed so here is the outcome for this code so in the first iteration it is picking up one then two then three and then at last it is picking up five so that means all these list members are to be picked up are to be um, are to be read from the list in the order in which they are appearing in the list so that is our for loop so for i in so this is a syntax syntax means the grammar to write this for so for i in a then colon so colon will indicate that next statements will be under this body so you can find that if i write here print say hello then that is also coming within this for so we can find that it is printing like this so i want to print this one and hello side by side so we can go for this int is equal to null you can write this one and then you can print this hello so what will happen this one and hello will get printed in the same line so you can in this way you can write so many different statements with this indentation to indicate that all the statements are within the for block let us go for the next one here we will be using for but using this range we know that here we are given the range that is 6 comma 11 that means the value of i will be ranging from 6 to 10 so let me go for the execution you see the i is being initialized with 6 to 10 for each and every time iteration after that you also you can put some step value so here the step value is 2 that means the increment value is 2 here so now it will go on picking up 6 8 and 10 because 11 is not inclusive 
and that's why it will print the values from 6 to 10 and with this increment factor of 2. In this way, you can write this for and using this range function in our for loop. So, let us go for another another way. So, how to write this one? You can find that uh, using for loop for printing the values present in the tuple and using the else command in the for loop. So, how to do that one? You can print, see. So, this is the outcome we are having. So, b is equal to 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So, they are coming here and this is nothing but a tuple. For i in b, so it will be pick, picking up the values from this tuple, one value at a time in each and every iteration and when this particular tuple will get exhausted, then else block will get the control and then printing completed that message is go, going to get printed. So that is another way to write the for loop in our Python coding. So in this demonstration, we have shown you that how to write for in our Python code to have some block to get executed repeatedly for multiple number of times. Thanks for watching this video.